Hi, yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm just doing a, a little bit of sketching here of an evening, and I thought um, not a bad idea to do a video of this, get it done for tomorrow, so that I can have a lie in. And uh, and I was just wanting to kind of um, pass on something of the very pleasant experience that I've been having here. I've got a couple of um, little pots of flowers sitting in the kitchen and I was watching um, a thing called the Universe in Verse which is a lovely um, kind of event every year uh, around science and poetry and I was just watching that and found myself drawing um, with my non-dominant hand yes. some of those flowers that are just sitting around and I thought, actually, this is a really nice occupation. So I'm going to just do some of that right now. And uh, like I'm sure very few of you actually end up watching these videos, but um, as a kind of a prompt, um, I think this is quite a, quite a nice uh, starting point to use your non-dominant hand and just moment by moment observe little the parts of the parts of the flower, the changes in direction. I'm noticing that this is almost like a right angle here. And then this carries on straight down to create a triangle for this petal. There's just something really pleasing in the maybe it's like the poetry and science, so you know, marrying of the two, like geometric with creative. Mm line and it being this the non-dominant hand somehow makes it a little bit more organic maybe uh, yeah so i was saying um well you probably not never really watched the full video um um uh, my, my objective really would be to encourage some kind of creative action in your own homes and to kind of just to have a starting point, really, for you to look around your own space and see if there's something that you could draw. It doesn't even have to be a flower, or like. Um, and one of the things I love about this is that as, as things are revealed, you can kind of change, you know, as you go, you just, there is no, there's nothing set in stone, really. Um, And you can make changes to the edges, you know, the outline can be changed as something new is revealed. You can simply redraw it. And these finding lines to me are evidence of the process of being attentive. And I think lovely to see those in the finished drawing. The kind of aiming to, to find more truly what it is that's here. No, you would think that I hadn't told the children and the dog, although she, yeah, you would think I hadn't told the children that I'm doing a video, but I have actually told them, so there's no excuse for that carry on next door now. And Maisie was sleeping quite happily beside me there, which is when I thought I'd do the video, but she started playing now with the girls. So this is a primrose. I did a live stream video painting the primrose last week on um, Remarkable Women TV on Facebook. If you want to look it up. It was really, uh, it was really satisfying painting this blue jug and the primroses in it with the acrylic and then oil on top. But you know, we don't have to have like a massive setup before we can be creative. It's, um, it's really something that we can inject very simply into the minutes between tasks in our daily lives. I was thinking today, there hasn't been that many tasks in my life recently. At least that's what I was feeling today. I felt like I shouldn't get into more action. 
but there are days like that, aren't there? And I think particularly at the moment, it's good for us to listen to our own rhythms. I don't know why they've decided to have such a playful time suddenly. Right, there's that. Sometimes you can get a bit lost, you know, a bit mixed up with where things are. So that V is coming to point up to the entry to the flower there. Oh, I think I've gone a bit wrong there. No, no, that's okay. Actually, that's really nice how it marries up. I'm not sure now if you're still there or not, but I'm kind of mesmerized by this, so I'm not even going to check. And if you're gone, bye-bye. If you're not yet gone, see you soon, because I probably will be finishing shortly. Yeah, stay in touch anyway, and have a peaceful day. in there. <laughs> I thought you'd have been gone ages ago. That's what's happening so far. And uh, I don't know if you can see the primroses there that, that I'm painting, drawing with this pen. <laughs> see you tomorrow or the day after tomorrow actually. It'll be no, a few days time. Damien's doing tomorrow and the day after. Bye.